But we begin with that nightmare. A wrong way crash has left eight people in the hospital. This is all part of the reason ODOT's putting new measures in place to prevent this from ever happening again. News 5's Nadine Abasada spoke with ODOT today and has a story on where those measures stand. Early Saturday morning around 1.50, this video that News 5 received through a public records request shows a white car driving in the wrong direction on I-90 West at West 44th Street right before crashing head-on with another white car. Both cars spun out, leaving eight people injured, including a 26-year-old woman, a 9-year-old boy, a 5-year-old girl, and a 4-month-old, who were all in serious condition. Runway crashes are usually a very serious um, crash, and we want to reduce those number of crashes. Brent Kovacs with ODOT tells News 5, though these crashes don't happen often, when they do, they are serious. And that's why they have wrong way signs installed. Those signs are high and low because what we found that if you're driving drunk, you look low to the lines. So these signs are only a foot or two off the ground. In many cases, wrong way drivers are under the influence or not paying attention. So the signs are still not enough. It's very hard to predict what someone that's going to be under the influence of alcohol does. Which is why ODOT is now launching a wrong way corridor alert network. The way the system's going to work is it's going to have a detection system. If a car goes the wrong way on a ramp, it will start flashing red lights. It will also take a video that will be sent to the Traffic Management Center in Columbus. They're going to review that video, quit, uh, video clip in real time and to see if the motors turns around. In January, they'll start putting the new detection systems in 25 different locations around Greater Cleveland. Yeah, so a lot of times they are fatal crashes and a lot of times they are serious crashes because you're going the wrong way and you're hitting something head on. With the goal of stopping crashes like Saturday from happening. As of right now, the condition of the driver has not been released. Reporting in Cleveland, Nadina Busada, News 5. Now, when that project was first announced last year, ODOT hoped to have the network up and running by the end of this year. When we checked in this spring, that goal had been pushed to early next year. And now, as Nadine just said, that's the time they plan to start installing the new detection systems in 25 different locations on a stretch of I-90 and I-71 between West 140th and East 150th in January. 